well there are lots of tests which are done to ensure the quality of the brick like uh, crushing strength test your dimension test or your efflorescence test efflorescence test is done to ensure that there is no unwanted ingredients within the brick okay but uh, among all of this test i think the one of the most important test is your water absorption test okay now you can ask me why it is too much important to do the water absorption test to ensure the quality of the brick actually this test is a indicator of lots of things like strength durability your uniformity of burning uh, how this all of these uh, qualities are ensured by this test now we are going to discuss all of that okay now uh, first this indicate the degree of burning so how what happened when you burn the clay and produce the brick actually the clay is vitrified vitrified means the actual ingredients or the molecule within the clay changes their phase and bonded together in a totally different manner as a result of which the clay becomes solid and compact and when i say this compact this need to be proved by certain thing compactness to such extent that when we absorb or when we immerse the brick within the water for 48 hours if it is truly vitrified if it is truly vitrified so in that case the absorption is less than 3% so you have seen that for first class brick our margin was 15% for second class it was 20% and for high duty brick it was 10% but it is if it is truly vitrified in that case the absorption will be only less than 3% okay so so what what does it indicate if your uh, compactness is too much high or your absorption is too much less so what does it in, uh, indicate in terms of engineering or what we can get mess what what message we can get from this information by the way as an engineer you always should think each and everything from strength and durability point of view now i am saying that absorption less mean more strength and more durability so your question will be why why how can i correlate them so it is very basic physics okay your water absorption uh, water absorption within the brick happens by capillary action what is capillary action when you place a very small diameter tube on the water surface what happens the water travel within the tube against the gravity against okay so this x action that means the flow of water against the gravity is happen due to a phenomenon of a fluid which is known as capillary action the same thing also happens within the brick okay now if there is more absorption means there is more capillary action or indirectly more interconnected pores so if there is too much force which are interconnected so it is very susceptible to uh, or very vulnerable vulnerable to crack okay so obviously the strength going to be too much less if the water absorption is high your strength is going to be less very basic okay next point is when your absorption is more suppose in canada tight country what happens maximum time there is temperature is below your freezing point so suppose day time your brick absorbs some water and at night the temperature is below 0 degree so obviously the water become ice and as you know the volume of ice for a certain volume of water is more than water so the pores become tends to be higher diameter okay so this apply some pressure or splitting force within the brick and this freezing action actually make your bricks less durable not only that the third point is if your water absorption is high what will happen 
whatever brickwork you are going to done that is with the aid of mortar and what is mortar that is nothing but a mixture of cement sand and water and mortar gets its strength from the cement sand and the water why without water the cement within the mortar cannot be hydrated so now after applying the mortar layer you place the brick and the water absorption capacity of the brick is too much high what will happen the brick will absorb maximum amount of water from the mortar as a result the mortar could not get sufficient amount of water for hydrating its own cement and in turn it will be weak so your whole brick work become too much weak and cannot sustain the strength for which you have built this so that's why i'm saying this is the most important test that cannot be avoided at any cost and must be done for ensuring your all type of good brickworks okay so now the question is how we will do this there are two method in indian court there are two method first one is 24 hour test which is done normal temperature and the second one is rapid test or 5 hour test here the brick is boiled for 5 hours and then kept it for cooling for 16 to 19 hours so 5 plus 19 it is almost 24 hours so here i will discuss how to make the or how to turn the how to do the 24 hour test okay so first your brick is heated in oven at roughly 105 to 110 degree centigrade temperature why we will ensure that the brick become totally dry and it attains a constant weight then the brick taken out and cooled at room temperature and the weight is noted suppose it was w1 as i have mentioned here okay now you will immerse this brick in water at room temperature which is 27 plus minus 2 okay 27 plus minus 2 degree temperature centigrade temperature so you will immerse this in water at room temperature 27 degree centigrade for 24 hours now after 24 hours you take out and wipe the whole brick with a damp cloth so that there is no droplet or there is no amount of water within the surface of the brick so after uh, wiping off the water with a damp cloth take another reading suppose this is w2 so what is your absorption the absorption will be w2 minus w1 this is the amount of absorbed water within the brick okay so to get the percentage we will definitely divide this amount of water with the dry weight of brick or w1 which we have taken earlier okay so this will give you the amount of water absorption of the brick okay now your duty is to search for the five hour test or the rapid test